Don't get lost in the endless supervillain prison planet ship thing. Weird how Boots was the guy who was surprised by how big the ship was, but is also the only person who knows what's going on. Fuck. Can I quit? I can't quit. Alright, well... If Boots just avoids damage for a bit, we should be fine. A usual plan, I think. Okay, Boots... Use a complete on yourself. There you go. Really is liability having a melee character right now. Ouch, 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 ouch. Dude. The fixation is real. Can you use an item on... Shit, they're killing him. They killed him! And then they're gonna kill me! Oh my god! How do I quit? I just wanna quit. Just let me quit. I just wanna... I guess I can do this. I don't want to reboot the whole game, I just want to load my save. Because I went into this without full health, and it'd be ideal to just go into it with full health. Oh, now you guys can't kill for shit, I see how it is. Fuck. Guys. Are you, you guys are seeing this, right? What's up with their AI? They won't move. Party killed in battle. Oh, we've never seen that before, have we? That's not even where we are. That's just some sort of placeholder. That's interesting. The, the enemy move... The enemy AI doesn't move during combat? <laughs> Apparently? Or these guys won't. They just stood completely still. That was weird. I mean, I got heal grease pluses for days. If I'm just using them outside of combat. We're fine there. Can I rearrange my party to put a different person in front? Does it work if I, if Boots is the front? Okay, now he's the front. Now at least they're all beating on him, because he can cast a spell that reduces incoming damage, which is at least something. Whereas this guy is the guy that does all the damage, and I would very much like him to do attacks more. Who am I attacking? I want to attack the one in front of Ro. There we go. And she can help. Was she always a melee character? I think she maybe was. It's hard to remember. I spent the bulk of the early combat just having Boots and Grumpos in the party, so I got very used to that. I forgot who we were fighting. One. Still not dead. Still not even one dead. Oh god. Let's see, which mystic do you have now? Freeze zone? Still only a single target. Mm. This is, it feels like an iffy use of resources. I said, yeah, they'll only attack whoever's standing closest to them. So if, if I put my tankiest character there, then that's useful. 
I can't. I'm really. It's really weird to me that magic doesn't regenerate at all, even at checkpoints. Like you just have to eat living creatures to regenerate ever. Why? Why make it that way? It's like you can't attack the current target, but you, sh you should move because then this one guy that can hit you will stop hitting you. So they'll really fixate on one boots, and then we'll just do a like a complete every now and then. Complete on boots. Why won't he die? There we go. Like, oh my god. No fight should ever last this long. Plus complete. There we go. There's an irony here, I suppose, of them theming this as being the most wacky and entertaining, crazy part of the game, but it's actually the most monotonous element of the game so far. I just want this level to end right now. Because <laughs> they made their wacky, entertaining, crazy, screwball part of the game just a combat gauntlet, which is the least entertaining part of the game. Ah! Now we gotta move to shoot again. Can you imagine the cataclysmic problem that has to be involved when somebody starts just beating a planet with a cleaver, like, it's a bit worrying, isn't it? Like, conceptually, like, that's a problem for them, isn't it? How good is their force field? Like, they're a planet being attacked by cleavers and shit. Okay, he's dead. Whew, these fights, this, this, uh, these fights would be dragging on for, like, 10 minutes each, I think, without the fast-forward. It's a cute game, but it definitely is worth noting how many of its uh, flaws are kind of, like, being actively addressed by this fast-forward feature right now. That'd be a lot harder to sit through otherwise. Now I'm there? I legitimately don't really know where I'm going. For the most part, it doesn't seem to matter. Just go in the new direction. Wait, is this a healing spot? It says that everywhere, though. Uh, which way did I come in? Shit. Nope, that's new. What the fuck are you? Are they goldfish? What do they fight me with? They fight me with other fish! They're gonna fight me with a second fish! <laughs> They're just gonna beat me to, with fish! My poor melee character doesn't even start off in range of combat. Oh no, stop missing. Oh, stop missing, you have an electric gun. Kill the fish with your electric gun. Why are they making dolphin noises? That's not what you are. You weirdos. Yeah, big old pile of weirdos. Strange boys. Ooh, they died quickly. Oh, what a godsend. It's almost like they're... fish. <laughs> it is out of line of sight. The game was weirdly uncertain about him being out of line of sight. Ah! 
Ah, hit him! Unfortunately, they're also slippery like a fish, apparently. We did it. Mockridge is still four levels behind. Oh, time to play this minigame again. It's not working! What? It's not working! What the fuck? What? It's not- I can't click on anything, it's not working. I can't even click on quit. It's bugged! No! I can't do anything! I don't even know what call recess is supposed to be for, honestly. Wait, why would the tractor beam even engage if they said not to do it? Weird. Why is there even a tractor beam but shittily feature? Work this time, please. It's not working! Why isn't it working? Alright, we just gotta wait it out. Oh wait, I can hit Q. Alright, that, that heel grease plus or whatever just wasn't meant to be. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I, I just can't do the... I just can't do it. Maybe it's supposed to be that... Maybe they're, maybe they're implying again that it's too high level for me and I have to get the better version? Because there was past ones where that... That was one. Of, that was kind of one of the issues with this game is that they didn't do a good job at explaining that it's like, you gotta go level up your skill now. Uh-oh. Did the glitch happen again? Did my entire world state reset again? Because my time play just reset again. That hasn't happened since, like, the second session. At the time, I, I, I finished my first session and came back in the time reset, and I was like, Oh, weird. That must mean that, uh... I, I, at the time, I thought that meant maybe that it only keeps track of how long your current session is for that session. And then it resets. But then we've been gone for, like, 25 hours, and now it's reset again. I don't know what that means. Should I be worried about that? I still have my collectibles. I still have my quest log. I'm all paranoid, damn. Because in Wasteland 3, we straight up reset our entire world state. At one point, and it really fucks everything up with all the quests and everything that's happening just all resets. Oh, there's way more of them this time, that's not good. Ow! Rude. So 3 is the one that's up front. Number three is to be punished. What the fuck is that voice? Look at that, fishies! Ah, uh, save me from this level. I want. To, I just want to. <laughs> I just want to do whatever comes next. This game was really made by people who understood that the best parts of their game were the dialogue and puzzle solving. Yeah. Shit, what did I click on? Uh, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Ah. There we go. How do you... Hmm. Maybe they had better plans for this at some point? Like, they made a whole wacky setting, but, like, there's no dialogue. It's just, like, one wacky intro, and then they move on. I was like, do they plan on more funny conversations to happen? Oh, we need, we need to heal again. I can't help but think, like... When we were on an alien planet, 
we were like in a weird alien hive that had no reason to have dialogue on it, and that one was still full of dialogue. They had like little people stuck in the walls that could talk to me. Like even in when it would make sense to not have dialogue, they still insisted on having dialogue because they knew that was like kind of the highlight of the whole game, presumably. But here, here's where they could have all sorts of funny conversations with all these crazy enemies and, and whatever the hell's going on. And it's not doing any of that. And I'm like, I don't understand why you would end up, why you would do that. I'm confused by that choice you've made. This does something. Trying to make them stop attacking my planet. Whatever the whatever the opposite of welcome to Earth is. He's dead. Now attack the other melee-er. Die, please. You're not very strong. But if I move forward, he won't be able to attack that guy correctly. Hmm. Or he can attack that guy? Oh, so she doesn't block line of sight, because even though it's a hexagonal environment, they didn't put the middle point directly in the middle, so she just doesn't block his line of sight. Why can't she always employ that kind of uh, positioning strategy to not block line of sight? That's really useful. That makes it really hard to tell how the grid works if there's weird exceptions like this. Like, she was clearly standing between those two, like him and the enemy. But it didn't block line of sight this time. Wow, now I'm somewhere. I guess. Oh. I guess he's swimming with the fishies. That's dope fish. Just went and snuck dope fish in here. I guess they, it is him. Was it John Car Was it John Carmack or was it the other guy? No, because this is the company that made Dai Katana, right? So it's, I think it's the other guy. Uh, the one that has sounds like the name of the guy who makes the zombie Romero, right? So I, for a while there, I'd mix him up with the zombie guy. Did I just come from this direction? So like maybe the other way was new. But it looked not- it also looked not new. There's a safe point in every room. Oh, it is straight- yeah, it is straight up the same. I'm actually not sure. <clears throat> it's like the same catwalk ramp. So I'm not sure if I- which one. I, I, yeah, my goal's to go up. What are these? What, 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 what are these? What's going on? Wait. That didn't attack the way I thought it would. <laughs> Wait, did it just attack the other one instead of it, instead of me? Oh god, there's five of them. Let's all focus the one that's clearly in the middle of our group, I guess. There's number one. Oh, are they all melee? I should have used a uh, screen. I'll do that next. Try to defend myself. <clears throat> yeah, they all appear to be melee, so they're all going to attack uh, Boots constantly. Because he is completely surrounded. They also seem really bad at aiming. Which is good. That's good news. Hey, one's dead already. Alright, this, this one doesn't seem so tough. Let's protect our planet. Captain Planet is getting killed by a bunch of bad guys trying to stop them. Uh, you really have to memorize which, uh, uh, right, right, she can only melee anyway. You have to memorize which number you were clicking on. Because otherwise you have to wait for the cutscene to, like, look in the correct direction again so you can tell which one it is. Ow.
You can't attack that guy because of line of sight? Oh, only when the guy was attacking a second ago. I've noticed that their current position during an attack affects whether or not they count as being within line of sight. Like they enter and leave line of sight during their attacks because they move around, which is weird because they you would think that they would only count as whatever their current standing position is. I wonder if you can trick the game into attacking a character that you're not supposed to be able to attack otherwise. Because the range, the line of sight icon only, only like it disappears during combat sometimes, or even shows up during combat. Sometimes it appears because they specifically went behind boots or something during their current attack, even though they're not. That's not going to be where they are. So if you just wait a moment, you can then attack them, because the the attack animation finishes, which is a super strange thing for a turn-based strategy game, or a turn-based combat game. That's some weird jank. I'm just happy to not be dealing with the cleaver guys. Those guys were a nightmare. They did, they did a decent amount of damage, and they were in large numbers, and they just wouldn't die. I think I was just missing constantly. They were probably agile. Oh, you're in trouble now. Yep. Got it. Ta da. I'm so bad. Every time I go up to heal my guys, you see me you see me click in a circle like four times as I try to figure out exactly what I'm doing. I'm really bad about it. It's because they're apparently under f like Fatima? Like that's where half of the stuff I want to do is. But like things aren't oh, oh fuck. I just hit stuff. Sorry. Things aren't labeled on the master menu. They didn't give them names like Inventory, consumables, equipment, and stuff like that. So you click like, so it's like, think about the intuitiveness of this. You click like, party, then a character, and then find items. But then I, if you misclick one time, then you're like, oh fuck, where did I go? Like when, once you're here, you're like, okay, legitimately, how do I get to my, how do I heal my party members? And it's like, oh, you click on Fatima, obviously. And under Fatima is party and Elementor, I think. Yeah, because Elementor and Collectibles are only... Uh, party and Inventory and Collectibles and... Uh, Elementor... Something else... Fuck, I'm, I can't even list them off the top, of my head, top of my head very well. Are all under the Fatima category? And then you go here, and then you don't click on the items, you click on a character, then you click on... Yeah. It's just like weird steps. And subheadings. Is that where I came from? Probably. Once again, a red door that I can't open. That's just another map, but it's, the game seems to be linear, so the map doesn't seem to matter. Hey, we're at the third floor of this hallway area. The second floor was the red door that we saw before. So maybe once you can get the doors open, there's like incentive to go back or something? Oh. This one's got a mixture of them. Oh, yeah, it's one of everybody. Maybe we're there. Maybe this is like the end. I guess I'll focus the luchador. I'm just gonna ignore the cleaver guy as long as possible. Because he's too hard to kill. So I'm going to focus down everyone that is easy to kill and deal with him afterwards. Just seems reasonable. Is he down yet? Okay, cool. Two down. Uh, I'll have you fight the cleaver guy just because you have to move otherwise. And I want to attack as many times as possible. 
I'd rather not move if I can attack. go. Right, we still have the fish to kill. No, I can't attack the fish anyway. Because of the angle. I guess let's all focus this little shit. Get rid of him as fast as possible. That's my bad. I was fast forwarding a little bit too much. Shit. This combat's just a little played out at this point. What? Why is the place she's going to up in the air? What's going on there? Alright, well this seems pretty final. If you fight every enemy at once, that probably means like this is the big final ending. Yeah. I imagine coming up next is like a boss fight. Let's get off the boring but kind of fun themed but still kind of boring planet, please. Hello. We're back. Sorry if I seem distracted during that last fight against the big group. <laughs> I had a food delivery coming in, I know, a food order, and it was supposed to take like an hour, and then it took, got here in like half an hour, and I was like, oh, fuck! <laughs> so I'm back after dinner to wrap this episode up. Dungeo. Yes, I am here or something. Honestly, this map was never useful and incredibly confusing. The door is- oh shit. Oh shit, how do I- <gasps> Oh, taco! I almost missed that. So, okay, so it's a puzzle. That's the order in which I encountered all the different enemies. Lucho, Slug, Chopper, Fish, Robot. So is this a transforming hologram where each of the elements is from the environments of each enemy type? Oh fuck. Wall sphincter. Arm TV. So wall sphincter, arm TV, obs observation thing? It's like a monocle. <clears throat> Fish tank. That one's pretty straightforward.
And then whatever is left, I guess. I don't know. I can't tell what that is. Um. Did they really just make them in order? Up, down, up, down, up. Does that mean anything? Um... Shit. <laughs> Is it time for a lot of backtracking? <clears throat> so the robots have the wall sphincter. I guess let's do notes. It's a uh, Lucha Slug. Chop. Fish. Robot. The robots had the sphincter. They did kind of give us a hint at the beginning by saying that this is fish. The fish have. I call this one porta potty, I guess. It's the best I have. They kind of gave us a clue saying that uh, the, the holograms would be the key to solving this, but the details obviously weren't very clear. I just went backwards again. Good thing it's all a hallway. It is basically just a completely linear, linear level. That thing just opened again when, when it came in. <clears throat> the choppers have Gibbs the I'll call it the lens. Lens slash monocle. Being accurate is not important. Just writing something down where I'll be able to tell them apart from each other later is what it takes. But oftentimes those kinds of notes involve just writing down the first word that comes to mind. Hello. Square wave crystal. Then I'll have to come back down here to check out the two secrets, I guess. So this is Slugs, and it's got the arm wall, arm TV. Okay. So I shouldn't have to check the other one, so I can just go back. There's like five different symbols, so I think it's pretty clear they're all going to be different. Once again, thank God for fast forward. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank God for fast forward. This game actually legitimately has a next level amount of backtracking to the point where you can see why the, the developers would add like a, a cheat code thing for themselves to go faster. But, it'd be a little, but it's a little concerning that they didn't think to maybe address their level design at some point. But, you know, this was the era where games were completed unusually quickly. And it was really, it was kind of neat because really creative stuff would be happening all the time. And a lot of classics were being thrown out really quickly. Like it was really impressive how quickly games could be made. So th th that is like a nice element of it all. But the downside, this one must be the, the tube one. The downside is that there's just some really, uh, some really iffy designs sometimes that just kind of stayed around. That's not the monocle one, is it? That's the wall sphincter. 
Yeah, there's the monocle. So this one's the wall sphincter. No, this one's the sphincter. Whoops. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's the one. Then this one is the porta potty. Yep. Hey. But you would think that they would either address the level design issue and crunch it down a bit if it's that excessive, or you know, make this a publicly available feature that's built into the game. If they could, as as like a as a as a quick fix, if they can't do anything else about it. One of those two. But they didn't. <clears throat> it's technically available, but to be clear, uh, the game doesn't tell me that this is a feature. Uh, and it's not in the manual. So it's a, it's hidden away in the text documents as a thing that you can... that it technically exists, and, all you, and you have to go into the text documents to, like, sort of, like, hack a, uh... Not really ha hacking is an excessive word, but... You go, you go into the text documents and you cr you uh, you uh, give it a hotkey in those, and then suddenly it's there. So it's a feature they added for the developers to use, some more so than us. Wait, is it an, is it us versus every enemy type again? Wait, it's just the same fight again. Oh fuck, I forgot to heal. Uh. uh. Nah, I don't want to use up completes, but. I have to during combat. Obviously, I use the heal gr grease pluses a lot when I'm out of combat. I should stock up again when I get to back to the store. Also, double check to see if there's better weapons to get because I seem to be behind the curve compared to. Let's see, you can attack everyone, right? Yeah. Let's protect our let's protect our planet first. Let's focus this guy because everybody can attack him. Wait, ah, uh, shit, I just attacked, ah, uh, shit, I attacked the robot on accident. There's so many attacks happening. Oh, little guy's dead. Good. Now kill Slug. So he's also going to attack our planet. Uh, what did I do? Wait, did I... Was I using an... That, that's what threw me off. I knew something threw me off. Uh, did I enter this fight with an unusual or like grouping of characters? Was it was it the wrong person the main character a minute when I was running around? And I just didn't even register that? Like, was I running around as... Ro? Because I... Th normally... Yeah, normally it's Boots, then Ro, then the planet, right? It just really threw me off. So I think I I think I clicked on the wrong character because I thought I was controlling the melee character. And so once I saw that they could attack somebody, that had to be the right target. Because she's limited. But yeah, this guy's just going to jump in the middle and focus us. Then let's try, let's try to take him down. Because he's a real shit. Yeah, you'll see that there was an X on him for a minute there because the other guy was blocking my attack. Uh, we're, we're attacking number two. Hey, big, okay, he's dead. That is good. Uh, there, these guys are on boots. Let's go after the people that are on boots. Except you can't attack anyone from back here. I'd rather not use, use another heal, heal grease plus, or complete. I very much want them to stop hitting boots now. Okay, that's good. Yeah, see, I can't hit him now, because he's behind her, but that's not his position, so that's weird. Like, that's not where he's located, so I it's weird that it calculates it based on their current the location of the model, as opposed to what heck, what uh, space they're occupying. 
is do a weird situation where you have to wait for animations to complete in order to attack correctly. And I'm like, I, I don't know if that's an intended mechanic. That just doesn't sound like it'd be in the game on purpose. That seems very accidental. Oh my god, no one's hitting this slippery ass fish. Crimes. Aww. It would have been funnier if he, if he got defeated by the doctor, because then I could have been like, Haha, you just got turned into Roe. Because that's a fish thing, but that's also her name. Yeah, I was running around as her. Whoops. Didn't even notice. Uh, fuck! This is impossible. Like, it's just straight up impossible. I didn't try hard enough, though, but yeah. Yeah, no, it's just not doable. Shit. That me that's that's weird. Okay, that means one of two things. Either A, I can come back here later, and this is not a place that's only for one little event, which is weird. You'd think that this would be a place you can only come to you only come to when you get kidnapped and then you never come back here again. Or that skill up is already available to me somewhere and I have failed to find it. Which is what I'm inclined to believe. Oh fuck, that was the reward for coming here, was that. And I can't open it. That's a bummer. Yo, 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 yo. Can you imagine how disgusting it is to apply heel grease to a planet? Like what life is like for them as heel grease is being applied to like... Their topography? That top... Topography. <laughs> anyway, there's at least one other red door. Maybe two? I might just backtrack all the way back to the beginning. I heard the dope fish burping again. But yeah, the dope fish is a bit of a... I think id software meme? Tied to like, I think... Doom and Wolfenstein or something? I don't know. I forget which one specifically. I just hear about it here and there. a little cartoon fish with buck teeth that shows up in various projects as an easter egg. This one's a little blatant. But I guess they figured it was consistent with the tone to put it here. Tell me it's not also a 10. Okay. I'm like, please don't make them all things that I can't open. That makes it so disappointing. Bracers? That just sounds gross. Kudos, I suppose, and just, you know, the lockpicking minigame not being like the same one from every other game. It's almost like lockpicking minigames are almost never like genuinely entertaining. Oh, I went backwards. It's so hard to tell whether I'm going forward or backwards until I hit a room and I'm like, no, wait, that's the wrong one. Uh, lockpicking lock picking minigames are, are rarely any, anywhere close to entertaining uh, in video games. And this one's not necessarily particularly entertaining either. But at least it's different. <laughs> you can give them that much credit. Because a lot of them just kind of feel like retreads of the same ideas. I think, yeah, I think they just replenish. I think you can get another beetle of each type uh, every time you go back to the same hole. I think the only limit might be that they, uh... 
All right, I'm trying to think about how to navigate this place while also poking around and whatnot. Yeah, you, you, so you're not allowed to go back this way. But they do let you load it again. Which is a little awkward. I, I guess that was all the red keys, so my big reward was beef bracers. Gross. I guess beefiness is one of the stats, huh? This area is so fucking big! <laughs> And the only- the only puzzle mechanic was, Hey, did you write down those things you saw along the way? If not, go back. It's not- it's just not great. It's just not great! It's not great, but we'll be free soon. Get- it's stuck in the weird hitbox. There we go. Okay, we're back here. Is it time for a big, big... b b b b b b boss fight? Let's -a go. Psych, you're just gonna fight them all again. Nah. There's so many time menders here. Wait, did I just get turned around and go backwards or something? Where am I? Are we still going? Oh god, there's a green key? Do I just have to keep track of what order they were in? Is that it? No? Isn't that the order? These two might be backwards. No. What? There must just be like a, a room that puts them in like a list or something, right? Like, maybe left or right? We're just doing the same fight again where it's one of all of them. It's my third time doing this fight. Uh, I think it might be what order they were in from left to right when I walked in. Which is a little rough because the fight's already happening. But I think it's a... Uh, robot... Fish... Chopper, Slug, Luchador, RFCSL. Because Luchador was standing on the far right side of the room, then walked into the middle of the room when the fight started. Or maybe something in this room gives me information once I move forward. Who am I controlling? I'm, I'm controlling her. She's over there. Okay, so let's focus Lucha. Everyone can beat on him at the same time. Bully him. It would be pretty! Unless it's a secret. It might be a secret. But if the green door is mandatory, it'd be pretty amateur to have the solution be based on this fight data or something, though. Because it goes away. <laughs> like, this fight goes away. So you can just literally lose the answer. Then you then you can sit here out consulting a walkthrough to figure out how to beat the game. But maybe it's just an optional thing, the green door? Some kind of riddle that I've missed. What is it? What is it? What is it? The little voice. Okay, so Choppy Boy's dead. She can only reach that one, so she's gonna attack that one. Focus the robot. 
focus the robot, but actually kill it now, please. Thank you. Oh my god, kill it. My planet beam is getting weaker, I think. Oh, it's dead. Slug time. You can't do anything, so let's move you into range for fighting things. Well, hopefully not blocking. I think you'll block the fish line site there, so let's go there. Why can't you attack that? Oh, right. You're the melee character. Mixed him up a bit. Hey, another kill. The fast forward definitely would be less jarring to watch if the camera wasn't so busy swooping around trying to do the whole Fatima thing, because it's supposed to be Fatima's perspective as as they as she flies around and observes the fight. That's my takeaway, at least. I've definitely seen like the fast forward feature be added to games like Final Fantasy XII and stuff like that. But in those games, the character the camera usually has more of a fixed camera angle, and you kind of watch. Uh, you just kind of watch people really rapidly do their, their little auto attacks, and so the fast forward's less jarring, but obviously in this game's case, the camera's losing its mind. So while it might be nicer to look at for the audience and myself, if I didn't fast forward, I, I do still think it's better to not have to wait that long for everything all the time. Because the, the slow, dramatic, swooping camera angle, which might have looked really cool 20 years ago, mostly now is just like, all right, get to it. Hope I'm going the right way or something. I'm just saving frequently so I don't just fuck it all up. All right, please work. It's working. See, an issue I have, I know I'm just complaining lately, but uh, these mini games don't give you feedback really explaining that you're too low of a level to do them. You just kind of fail them and are not sure why you failed them, and it's just confusing and weird. You're like, what's wrong? I don't understand. Why is this so why can't I do it? <clears throat> Which leads to an issue where the the consequence of that is that that other one where I couldn't do it, I just can't tell if it's uh in that case I can't tell if it's I if I can't do it because I'm too low level at the skill, or if it's just because the uh that's in here yeah I, or if it's because the it's just bugged like I, <laughs> that's the issue is you one of like like one of the big goals in a game for me I think as far as just quality of communication and quality of life is just like can the player tell if the game is bugged or not when they run into a bug that's fucking with their progress can they definitely tell it's a bug or are they confused because the game already behaves in a way that's adjacent to this bug. So they're like, ah, it seems fine. I guess I must have to do something. Because that's the problem. That's the scary bit. It seems to be a dead end, so I think I do have to solve this puzzle. I'm not sure what it's based on exactly. Is there any other information in this room? Let's see if what I wrote down is correct. So, robot, uh, fish, Chopper. Slug. Luchador. Arm monocle. That's the answer. Arm monocle tank. I gotta, be, gotta write this down as it goes. This is the order. Gotcha. Uh, Porta potty, I guess. Just has that like tall rectangle shape, and then it should be uh, sphincter. Oh shit! It's restarting. Sphincter's first.
the order in which I've written these down is sloppy, but if I can just keep track of them, we're good. So sph sphincter is first. Sphincter was robot. Okay, that's good. Arm is second. Arm was slug. Good thing I wrote down that stuff from before. Uh, monocle's next, which is chopper. That's already correct. Next is the tank, which is the luchador. And then fish is all that's left. Okay, huh. Took a little thinky to get to them, but uh, that's what the two puzzles are. They're not, it's not the worst. That's kind of a satisfying puzzle, honestly. It's just the, uh, the context is a little iffy in that specifically the first part of the puzzle involves backtracking through the entire level and it's like, <laughs> Hope you wrote them down as you're going along. Or we've wasted all of your time. 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 All your time. What's that? What is all the purple goo? Does the ship belong? To Ivan Ooze. He's kind of got, honestly, he's kind of got the face for it. I'll buy it. 